Okay, greeting students, this is uh, the lecturer. In this video, I will show you how to do numerical calculations um, if the hand calculations are too tedious. I will demonstrate with the software Wolfram Mathematica, and I will demonstrate using the free version um, on the cloud. Um, you can use it online or offline, entirely up to you. So anyway, this is um, energy fluctuation. This is torque. You want to work at the power, the moment of inertia, the angular acceleration. So this is essentially the, the recipe in your study guide. The study guide is example 15 from the HANA advanced book on page 126 on question 6. That's the question. And this is the short version of how to do the calculation. So you open up web browser. You then open up a new window. Right off from cloud. Of course, you have to register for it. It's a free account, so you can do what you want. Then you open up a new notebook. Um, you then type in an expression from the engine talk. E is 10,500 plus 1,600. Use square brackets for arguments and capital letters for trig functions and Greek letters you just use lowercase. So after you've typed in the expression you then press shift and enter. It gives you a formula. Then you want to work out the mean energy torque as integral from 0 to 2 pi of Te divided by 2 pi. So you just say Tm is equal to The expression is Te bracket. Theta is the argument. It is running from 0 to 2 times. Divided by 2 times. and torque hard is equal to Te minus Tm. Sh uh, shift and enter. That's an expression. Now that's a complicated trig function. We can plot the graph quickly. Plot P L O T open square bracket. Um, Tr is the function you want to plot, comma, curly bracket. Comma starting from zero two pi close the curly bracket close the square bracket there's the graph now with your mouse you can see there's an approximate root at around this is one and there are five increments so 0 0.2 0 0.4 there's an approximate root around 0.4 so you say equal to forward slash dot root open um, the square bracket um, odd Approximately 0, 4, close the curly bracket, close the square bracket, and then shift in. That is the answer in radians. You can of course convert the angle to degrees. 
times root one. Textbook says the answer is 19.8. We work out 19.7981. Then we do the same thing for the other root. Um, it's about between, um, they are five divisions, so each one is 0.2. Uh, it is just below two, so the rough estimate would be 1.9 radians. So we work out the root of two is equal to theta, forward slash dot, root, Solving in the variable, and it is approximately, um, let's just call it 1.9, 1.9, close the curly bracket, close the square bracket, enter, and then that's the answer in radians, if we can work out the answer in degrees, t over pi, to shift and enter 109.8 109.798 um, so we've worked out the answers and then we want to work out the energy fluctuation f is equal to rate open the expression is the bracket variable is theta. We are now integrating from root 1 to root 2. Close the curly bracket. Close the square bracket. And enter. And then there's the answer. So we did this purely numerically. And our answer is 2,102.38, and the exact answer is 2,102 joules. So in principle, this could be any arbitrary complicated function, and we did it entirely numerically. This could be of arbitrary complexity, and we integrated it directly numerically. And um, this is how you would do a numerical example with Wolfram Mathematica. In this case, I've used the Wolfram Cloud web browser. You can, of course, use the um, actual software if you have a laptop and it has a license. And um, I think that's where we can leave the presentation. All right, keep well. Ciao.